Hello everyone, I'm Solar and this is Solar 3D Studio channel. This is the first episode of the lecture about high pressure die casting. The first episode is about how to properly and accurately model the mold and the geometry actually of the simulation. So pay attention to this tutorial, it's very important about uh, the first step of our simulation and the most important step of our, of our simulation. So if you properly and accurately model the geometry of your simulation, you could have a better result at the end of the simulation process. So pay attention to this and I highly recommend you to uh, see and learn this tutorial. Uh, we will have another episode for the low pressure die casting about the same process preparing the geometry and then we will have two separated uh, tutorials about the simulation process so I will link the tutorials together at the final stage and I hope it helps you in your industrial or academical uh, purposes and applications so as always do not forget to subscribe and your notification on and like this video because your support is a must for a channel Let's move to the model inputs. Okay, let's just start the modeling procedure. I'm going to choose front plane. First, I'm going to model my part. I want this to be two, three hundred millimeters. Okay. This is a very simple shape for our simulation, but has many points for us. Okay. Three, forty, and seventy, and a hundred, hundred and thirty. Okay. okay, everything is cool and fully defined, so let's do the revolve bus, great, okay, let's choose the surface. I know this is a pretty simple SOLIDWORKS tutorial, but you need to do this, and I need to talk about it because it is a fundamental of how you design your geometry for the simulation it's very important it's more important than learning some uh, typical and common solid work features it's not a setting the view see the view in a browser image we are talking about the procedure of creating the uh, mold geometry and the simulation geometry, not some simple solid book tutorials. Okay, I hope you get my point. Okay, great. Okay. Wait, everything is cool, but I need to apply some change that I've forgotten. Okay. We need to model this cylinder in uh, two different parts, and we will talk about why we need to do this in the simulation section of this tutorial. But at this moment, just accept it for me that. We need to do it in two single parts. Okay, let's just choose this surface, apply an escape, combat entities, extrude bus. I need to do the method up to surface. Great. Let's just apply the draft. This is the place. Okay, two degrees. Okay. Great. 
now we are finished with our part one or alloy one so let's just make it temporary alloy one okay, I need to replace it with the previous file that I have done great okay so let's create a new part for our second alloy part alloy two just edit it. Go to sketch, to this plane, and convert entity. Great. And let's just trim it. Okay. We are modeling the opposite direction of the cylinder solid material. So, extra boss up to this surface and great okay let's just change the color of both parts so we could have a better understanding of what we are doing this is the alloy one which is the final model and final sample along with the cylinder and the runner so and the yellow one is the opposite direction of the cylinder which we will talk about why we choose not to include the yellow part in the purple part we will talk about it in the uh, simulation tutorial which will be uploaded after this tutorial okay let's go to create our mold change the name mold okay sketch Great. Everything's cool. Let's get the street bus. Blind opposite direction. Great. Okay, let's apply the cavity. Okay, we will choose two alloy bars. Cool. Okay, let's change just the color of the mold. Great. Okay, now we need to uh, create a new part for our piston. So okay, let's just sketch on this surface. Let me use the center of this cylinder, but we need to apply this spacing. Great, or even smaller spacings. Okay, extra bars. Great, and here is our cylinder. So this is the geometry that we were talking about uh, for the high pressure die casting. We will do the same for low pressure die casting and then we could have two separated tutorials for the mold preparation and two upcoming uh, separated tutorials for the simulation process so calm down be patient um, it's a very complex simulation and need times and details to be talked about so we will came back with the low pressure die casting next week or even this friday and the simulation part will come soon thank you so much and do not forget to subscribe turn your notification on and like this video to support us your support is a must for our channel again and thank you so much